Hey everybody, welcome to Devotions. I just wanted to make this quick reminder to you that you may have ordered church merch from the online store that closed on Sunday, October the 15th. We will have those items or as many of them as we can at church on Sunday for you to pick up cool stuff that you ordered and paid for, so don't forget to stop by and pick it up. We'll hope that, that your week is, is going really well. If you're back from fall break, you probably are wishing about now that you were uh, back on fall break again, but you're almost to the end of the week, and 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 that means Sunday is at the movies. Who have you invited? I, I hope it's multiple people. And the great thing is that it's not just one week. You can invite them for next week, and you can invite them uh, even more people for the next week, and and week after that, and 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 then the week after that. So I I, I hope that you intend to do that. Okay, I ended my message Sunday talking about the greatest picture of service that we find in the Bible. Jesus washing the feet of the disciples. And this is such a special moment and a cultural moment that is a little bit lost on us if we don't know the story. We, we get that it was kind of a, a nasty moment and maybe something that we can uh, see as being beneath Jesus. But because of his servant's heart, he did it. But there's more to it than, than that. First of all, remember, this is Passover meal. He's eating that Passover meal with his disciples. It's a yearly event. That It's a really big deal for people to share in together, share in that meal together. It's a big deal that's recorded for us. And Jesus sent two of his disciples ahead of time to go make plans for the room to be ready. And the meal was prepared. And it's all premeditated. And there's a story of symbolism that's talked about all through the meal. And Jesus as the master of the group would have been the storyteller and the one presiding over the meal. It's a lot to get ready for. It's a, got, a lot to be in charge of. And in any other room that night, there were probably people who were paid as servants to wash the feet of those who were coming in the door who were going to participate, especially in a more wealthy or eclectic gathering where non-family were coming together for a meal. The host would have paid a servant to wipe down everyone's feet upon entering. It identified the night as being a special event. Uh, this was a special night for Jesus and his disciples, not only because of Passover, but because Jesus had many more things that he planned uh, as points of discussion throughout the night, and, and he knew that this was kind of his last night with them. And so with it being a special night, and this group didn't have money to pay for a foot washer, but no one is, not one of them, who... One was planning to betray him. Two were vying for positions of power once Jesus took the throne. Still another kept denying that he would ever leave Jesus' side. And yet all of these big personalities, there's nobody who noticed the role or took the responsibility to wash the group's feet. It wasn't a completely uncommon practice for them to have seen before and to have noticed wasn't happening. Instead, it's Jesus, the one who is their leader, the one who has a lot of traditional responsibility that night, the one who has already handled and prepared for the night to happen in the first place, the one who has a lot of other important things to say that he's been working on through the night, the one who is going to be arrested and is going to be beaten and is going to be crucified in the next 18 hours, and he knows that all of that is coming, that guy makes the move. And it's a big move, even though it, it's covered in just four small words. And, and here's the moment. It says, Jesus knew that the Father had put all things under his power and that he had come from God and was returning to God. So he got up. He got up. He, he got up from the responsibilities that awaited him. And he got up from all of that he had been planning for. And he got up even though he thought someone else might do it instead. He got up even though tradition said it was beneath him. He got up and he served his disciples. Nothing that's placed in front of you to do is beneath you. Nothing that needs to be done that seems like somebody else should or will do it is beneath you. If we're going to be the servants that Jesus modeled for us to be, we need to look around and just get up and serve. If it's about inviting somebody to church this Sunday and you think that maybe that's either beneath you or something that's meant for a younger man's game, forget that. It's not beneath you. It's not for someone else to do. It's for you to do to invite someone to come and sit and hear about Jesus. It's something for you to do. If it's about serving in something you've been asked to serve at, whether it uh, is the fall fest that's coming um, this, this fall for our kid town, or maybe it's serving in kid town, or serving in uh, student ministry, or serving with our tech team, or our uh, guest service folks, it's not beneath you. It's an opportunity for you to step in. 
If there's one thing that we learn from that night with, with Jesus, it's one, we learn about what the model of a servant looks like. The other is that we, we learn that we're pretty quick at missing the opportunities that there are for us to serve. And sometimes we need to follow that model of Jesus and decide that we're going to stand up and get involved and be the servants that he has created us to be. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the model of Jesus. We thank you for the countless times that he not only teaches us the life that he longs for us to live, but then he shows us what that looks like over and over again. God, I I can only imagine that we have these limited amount of moments and these limited words that are given to us in the Gospels of these moments that Jesus lived out and how frequently that happened on a day-to-day basis that these disciples saw what life they could live if they lived it like him. God, would we take what we have and apply it to our lives and be those people who are willing to uh, not view that somebody else should do this or somebody else will do this or somebody else should take care of this thing that others might see as being beneath us and just stand up and get involved. God, we thank you for the opportunities that you put in front of us. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, as we head into uh, this Sunday, I'm excited for us. I'm excited about uh, the, the message that's going to come out of not only this week, but I'll, I'll, I will let you know that all four of these weeks are, are sharing some similar things and kind of emphasizing some similar, similar ideas over and over again through these four movies uh, that we're going to show. And so um, I hope you'll be here Sunday, and I hope you have somebody with you Um, who maybe can hear about Jesus for the first time or hear about Jesus maybe for the first time in a long time as they not only hear the message that comes out of God's word, but they also hear it through uh, uh, the point of a Hollywood movie. And um, it's going to be a little different and a little exciting. And I hope that you'll be with us 9.30 and 11 o'clock. It is going to be available online. And there's information about that that we've sent out through social media. It's also on the cards on how you can be a part of that. But Uh, Just some great uh, opportunity to to be in conversation with people that you know about Jesus and about the impact that he can make on their life. So I hope you have a great rest of the week. I hope that you're already thinking of people that you can invite or have already invited and are making plans to connect with them and walk with them into service. It can sometimes be a little bit of a scary thing that you can walk with them and, and be with them all along the way. I hope that you'll do that this Sunday. It's the whole point of what we're doing. So please don't help us miss the point of inviting people and coming to hear about Jesus. Have a great rest of the week.